let you in, I mean, you'll go crazy. I just want to score stuff. Score a split. Quit it. <sighs> All right, make it quick. Just want a little rock. Hey, there's only two here. Pump the house. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. You owe me one. I'm warning you. Go back to bed now. I'm thirsty. Uh-uh, no more water. I told you already. You're gonna be up all night. Come on. Mom, can I have a fan in here? Yeah. So what you got for me, Rudy? Let me show you. You don't pay up, will it? Everybody gets mad. It won't happen again. It's not good. It won't happen again. Dead-end street, where the shouts and laughter of children once echoed beneath the streetlights until parents called them home to tuck them into their beds. That was before crack. Now the streetlights are shot out and parents tuck guns beneath their pillows. Some people call it a neighborhood undergoing change. I call it a neighborhood under siege. All I'm saying is I want air conditioning in the car. Frank, I heard you. I heard you. You think I don't? Someday they're gonna come looking for us and find us shriveled up like a pair of mummies in King Tut's tomb. By the time you get the car down to get it installed, they're gonna be snow on the streets. Yeah, and then we won't have a heater then either. I'm gonna try and find out who made that call. Hey. Well, what do we got? Kid took a shotgun right in the chest. Probably dead before he hit the ground. Another crack killing. Place is empty now, nothing but a lot of pipes and paraphernalia. Any witnesses? 
Nobody's come forward. Colby's out checking the crowd. No luck yet. You know, this kind of thing does tend to promote long shot, doesn't it? Mm. Somebody heard something, no? Let's try a canvas. Mm. Hi. Frankie, you look a little warm. Oh, well, that's why they call it a heat wave. Thanks. Could be worse. Yeah. Could be working days. First officer says they don't know who recorded the shooting. Caller didn't stay on the line long enough to get a name. I guess it pays to be anonymous. He did manage to get a tentative ID on the victim from one of the neighbors. Willie Simpson. Okay, that's something, then. General consensus is the kid was dealing crack and doing steady business. Well, it is an epidemic. Let's start knocking on doors. on the street kept them up. <laughs> Why? What happened? What's the matter? Joey, somebody was shot at that house across the street tonight. OK, look, you just got to give me a little time. We'll get out of this jungle, I promise. Uh, just give me a little listen, time. Listen, I was waiting for you to get home because I, I have to talk to the police about it. Talk to the police about what? I saw who did the shooting. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta talk about this. Hold on a second. What did you see? All right, okay. This, I, I'm putting the fan in Robbie's room. Yeah? I hear a noise, I look outside, I see these two guys coming across the street. One of them has a gun tucked under his jacket. Did you see the shooting? No, 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 no. Listen to me. I saw two guys with a shotgun, and I saw their faces. One of them was black, the other one white, maybe Latino. I, I don't know. Yeah? You saw them, did they see you? I don't know, I don't think so. Think it's important No, no, they no, they, no, they didn't see me because I turned the lights out. Okay, good then, relax. Don't go putting your nose where it doesn't belong. Joey. I saw who did it, Joey. I think the police would want to know that. Look, what you know and what you saw is nothing. For all anybody knows, you didn't see anything. Don't tell... Coaster. Do not tell me what I did or did not see. The two guys look like those those cops from Miami Vice. With something that could have been a gun. Maybe not. It was a shotgun, Joey. The black guy, he had on tons of jewelry and a, a small hat. He had on a hat? Yeah. What kind of a hat? Was it a pork pie hat? Yeah. Got was it? it? Yes. All right, yes. then you listen to me. That guy is a psycho. He's a murderer. So you're not going to say anything to anybody about anything. Do you understand? Do you know what your life would be worth if it got around that you were a witness to a murder? Oh, come on. No, but that's it. I don't want to talk about it. You're going to keep it buttoned until we get out of here. Please know I reported the shooting. Did you give him your name? No, oh, I don't remember. Did you give him your name? No, I, I couldn't have because Robbie was crying. All right, you're cool then. You didn't give him your name. Oh. Somebody has got to tell them who the killers were, Joey. I'm not going to let you talk to the cops. What happens if they find the guys that did it? Well, then I guess we would have helped them do their job. Wrong! It will mean that they're coming to hunt you down. Fine. Then what the hell are we supposed to do? We're going to keep it buttoned, and we're going to get out of here. No, 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 no. You're not listening to me. Who is going to stand up to them? Spare me. The only thing that's standing up makes you in this neighborhood is a target. Then what do we do? Keep our mouth shut? Is that it? Unless you want somebody to shut it for good. I can't believe nobody saw or heard a thing. I mean, it's hot. People got their windows open. Frank, we ask our questions, go back to the precinct. These people got to live here. Yeah, now I know what it feels like to sell encyclopedias. Look, babe, I know you want to do the right thing. But they kill people who do the right thing around here. Who is it? It's the police, Joey. Jam Bone and O'Brien. Hold on a minute. I am not going to lie to them. Do not make me lie. All right. But you let me handle it. Yeah, go ahead. Fine. 
You promise? Yeah. Yeah. Fine. How you doing? Yeah. Right. A lot of action on the street tonight, huh? Yeah. What happened? Oh, that's what we're trying to figure out. Nobody's seen or heard Zip. Whew. How about you mm. two? You see or hear anything? <clears throat> Was that a yes or a no? No, we just heard the shot. That's all. Where were you when you heard it? I was in the bedroom. Yeah, in the bedroom. Don't wake the kids. You see anybody on the street, Joey? No, no, we just heard the shot and... You know? Yeah. That window. Got a pretty good view of the street. Mm-hmm. Are you sure you didn't hear or see anything? Any any details gonna help us here? We haven't got anything. O'Brien, I saw it. I saw it. Gang drive-by killings. Kid took it point blank. Word on the street is he was dealing rock. Corner took the crack of the bankroll out of his shorts. Doesn't sound like a robbery to me. Did you get an ID on that kid yet? Yeah, his name is William Simpson. Jefferson nailed him on possession two weeks ago. He's on his way over here. The kid's bedroom looks out on the street. Um, I was tucking him in, and that's when I saw the guy with the gun. Yeah? What did he look like? Uh, like I said... He uh, was dressed real slick, and he had on a pennant. Uh -huh. That's it? Hey, you don't like the information. That's fine with me. You got other witnesses. Let them do the talking. Joey, we appreciate what you're doing. Now, tell us about the second guy. The other guy I didn't see real good. He had on a hat and a lot of jewelry. Sounds like you got a pretty good look to me. What kind of hat? Pork pie, or something like that. All right, the guy with the shotgun, anything distinguishing about him? Just what I told you. And that's like, that's about it. Wait, wait, you'd be able to recognize this guy if you saw him again, right? I told you, O'Brien, that's it. I'm not painting a bullseye on my back. You can call me an anonymous source. Hey, what's this, the dynamic duo setting up an SOS? <laughs> We're working on something important here, Jefferson. Well, excuse the hell out of me, fellas. I guess your lieutenant must have made a mistake. <laughs> hey, what? Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Come here, hot shot. Okay. Let's take a look at the family album. Oh, no, I mean, not the mother. Look. Why don't you tell me about Willie Simpson? Yeah, I popped him on a possession rap a couple weeks ago. Mm hmm And you couldn't make it stick, right? Didn't want to make it stick, O'Brien. You see, a guy like Willie, all he wants to do is get back out and block and start powwowing with the pipe, Dick. So I negotiated an arrangement, and uh, that's how I get my info. Right, he smokes crack. Hmm? <laughs> mm -hmm. And he is dealing to support his habit. <laughs> dealing and dipping. I didn't even say the boy was smart. He scores up at a pool hall up on Broadway, and I've been working the joint. Kevin, I understand you've got an eyewitness. Uh, yeah, we're getting a statement from him now. We'll let you know. Why don't you get in there and see if anything Jambone has rings a bell? Is it too much to ask for a little cooperation, Kevin? Elena, as soon as we got something to cooperate on, you'll be the first to know. Where's the pool hall? Hey, if you two plan on going up there, I want to run point, huh? Come on, I can't have you two waltzing in there setting off a fire drill. Like I said, I've been working this joint. Okay, let's go. Cole, take over. You're the best, Joey.
case. I'd like to ask you a few questions. A little hard of hearing. I said I'd like to ask you a few questions. I heard you, but you're messing with my concentration. That's it. Game's over. Are you arresting me, man? You call it what you want. But you and me are leaving this building together. What charge? Threatening an officer with a weapon. Now drop the cue. Drop it! Hey, man, what are you doing to Swiss? Four ball, corner pocket. I can't be sure. Take your time. Look, it, it was really dark. There were a lot of shadows. I just can't say for sure. I can't. She's right. If he knows something, he saw what happened out there. If he thinks there is a chance, she's going to call him on the stand. He won't talk. Tell me how I'm supposed to make a case with you running interference with the only witness we've got. Elaine, you make him take the stand, it's going to be a statistic. We can provide protection. He is not going to go for that. Don't force me to go to the wall on this one, Kevin, because I will do everything in my power to gain access to this witness, including a subpoena with a charge of obstructing a homicide investigation. Elaine, it is simple. You subpoena, you put him on the stand, he clams up, it is over, just like that, all for nothing. If he is all we've got to go on, then that's the way it is. Let her be important. Lieutenant, I just got off the phone with the dispatcher that uh, Joey drives for. According to his computer sheets, Joey was halfway across town at the time of the shooting. The only thing he could have witnessed was the ferry he was driving. Lawyer's in your office, and uh, he's cute when he's mad. Great. Right. Come on. I want you to tell the Lieutenant what the hell's going on here. What did you see from the window? I told you. We got a positive ID? We got squat. It's in between you and me anymore, Joey. Look, I think it could be him. Maybe. I want you to tell me how you could have seen what happened when, according to your dispatcher, you were halfway across town with a fair when it happened. Why oh, a song and dance? All right, Joey, we're going to have to let this bum go because we haven't got anything on him, right? I haven't done with you yet. Okay, Frank, call 911 and get a tape of the caller who reported the shooting. Give it an ear. Kevin, I've got a witness with a description of the car fleeing the crime scene. She saw a car parked in front of her apartment right around the time of the shooting. She wouldn't have got a license number, would she? First three digits. It's running through the computer right now. Okay, did she see anything else? Notice the car. Listen, Lieutenant, I had a job to go to. Us two, right here, with you. Now, the more you clam up, the hotter it's gonna get. I got nothing more to tell you. Well, then you're gonna sit right here until you do. You can't hold me. I didn't do nothing, remember? There's a phrase obstruction of justice mean anything to you? I 
As soon as possible, thanks. Switchboard sending the tape. Okay, great. Get a hold of Jefferson. Tell him Little's back on the street. We couldn't hold him on anything. Tell him to keep his eyes peeled in case he shows up at the pool hall. All right. Kevin, <sighs> the computer just spat out a list of about 100 cars that match the first three digits of that license plate number. So work on it. See if you can find something in the general area. Okay. Yeah, I want to speak to him. Got a witness. Must be the old lady. I'm an old lady. There was an old lady in the window, man! They let you go. If you would have been fingered, it would have been something else. Maybe she couldn't pick me out, man. I'm telling you, man, she saw nobody. Must have been somebody else. I'm telling you, man, they don't take me downtown for nothing. And we can't trust that old lady. They took some glass fragments out of her back. Did she tell you anything? Still in shock. Okay, get in touch with her doctor. Tell him we want to talk with her as soon as we can. I listened to the tape from 911, and get this. The caller who reported Simpson's shooting was a woman. I could hear a young kid crying in the background. I'm thinking what you're thinking. Joey. Hey, no more games, Joey. They shot an old lady. Mrs. Reardon, your neighbor. That's why I'm not talking to you. Well, then we'll just have to see what your wife has to say. She's got nothing to do with this. Joey, cut it out. We know. She made the call reporting the shooting at the same time you were driving your damn cab. We got it all on the tape. You want to hear it? for protection. Pr protection? Yeah, what kind of protection? Let me ask you a question. How did they find out that Miss Ridden was a witness? We don't know about that. Maybe she talked to somebody in the neighborhood. And maybe they saw her on the street. Nah, you don't believe that. Yeah? Then you explain it to me, Jambone. No way, man. There's eyes out there. Okay. We understand. No, you don't. You're not married. And you ain't got kids. Joey, she's got to talk to us now before someone else in the neighborhood gets killed. She didn't want to talk to you then, and she certainly doesn't want to talk to you now. You got a choice, Joey. You convince her. Or we charge her and get a subpoena. You make it easier, we get it easier. All right, I'll talk to her, and then I'll tell you. Call her and tell her we're sending a car to pick her up. And what if they find out? Tell her that you're going to be picking her up. Hello? Hi, babe. Thank God you called, Joey. I'm really scared. There's been another shooting. OK, everything's all right. I can't stand this anymore, Joey. I know. Listen, now I'm going to come get you. No. No, I want to come down there and I want to tell them what I saw, Joey. No, it's OK. I talked to O'Brien all about it. Just get the kids ready to go to my mother's, OK? What, what do you mean, your mother's? Your mother's at the summer cottage. That's right, and you're going to go, too. Now cooperate, babe. Joey, is something wrong? OK. OK, guys. Come on in here. Let's go. 
you ain't what you pretend, blood. Custom made Q, you're hustling me. Come on, man, a couple lucky shots, you know. Double or nothing? Yeah, yeah, double or nothing. Why don't you rack them up? I'll get us a couple beers. You do that. I don't like doing a halfway job. Should have finished her. It's okay as long as people get the message to mind their own business. Is a witness showing up yet? Not yet. If she doesn't show up soon, Elaine is gonna get a subpoena. Look, we do have a lead on a dark blue car with the same three digits that Mrs. Reardon gave us. Turns out to be owned by a guy in Joey's neighborhood. He said it was stolen a couple nights ago. Kevin, line one, Jefferson, said Little and his partner just showed up. Call me Carson, check out the lead in that car. You think that Joey's wife would be able to point out Little and his partner in the lineup? It's worth a try. Jefferson, you keep an eye on him. We are on our way. Okay. And tell him not to be a hero. the street, she saw you. Is that right? Who are you talking about, Grandma? She ain't no grandma. She got a kid. What are you talking about? The chick saw you gun down with me. I heard her and her old man arguing about it. You see a boost, you know? little crystal. That's it, pal. It's quitting time. Hey, buddy. I'm winning this game. You want to quit, you pay me. Hey, keep this as collateral, OK? I'll be back. just from the neck up. This is cyanide overdose. Instant heart attack, you hear me? Johnny, how do you know about that? Because it's my business to know. You don't believe me? I'll tell you what. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do it up and die. I'll go call for a body bag right now. Simpson, what you know about that? I was walking up in the hallway, and I heard this guy arguing with his old lady. She saw the shoes, and I guess he said she shouldn't talk. She did. Who is this woman you? Across the street from the shoes. Okay. You better be 
Just, just be glad that I came by. Cause I tell you what, you smoke that stuff, you'll be dead quicker than crack. Huh? Get the hell out of here. Hey, hey, hey. Be in touch. Little and his partner just went after a witness. night shift just like me nice view from there where is she look man she didn't see nothing okay let's go find you a lady and give her a nice ride home huh Jefferson, call down the station. See if he's arrived there yet. I've left in a hurry, it looks like. Let's hope Joey got here first. Lieutenant, Kevin and Frank are at Joey's place. And there's no sign of him or his wife. Jefferson had a tip that Little was on his way there, and there's no sign of him either. So, guys are on their way back here. Well, they better find out where the hell Joey and his wife are soon. If they still keep playing games with us, Elaine's gonna have her own way. Hi, uh, can I help you? Yeah, uh, I'm Betty Sands, Joey's wife. Is Detective O'Brien here? I'm, uh, Lieutenant Hogan. How are you? Uh, where's your husband? Uh, I shouldn't have come down. I'm sorry. I thought my husband would be here. No, no, no. Really... Listen, listen. That's fine. We're expecting Detective O'Brien at any time. Uh, Christine, why don't you take Betty somewhere, and we'll see if we can get a hold of Detective O'Brien. Could you excuse us just for a moment, please? Yeah. yeah. Look, uh, why don't you see if you can soften her up a little bit? Now, don't pressure her. Okay, bring her back in about a half hour. I guess your hot tip turned out to be wrong. Maybe this time I don't mind. Betty just showed up at the station. She with Joey? No say. Hogan says she came in alone looking for Joey. So where's Joey? No. Christine's trying to get his cab dispatched. She's taking uh, Betty down to your lady's bar. I was just getting really nervous at home, you know, sort of jumping out of my skin at every sound. I'm afraid for my kids, too. I guess those crazies would make even Rambo nervous. Hi, Chris. How you doing? Hi, Nikki. Nicole, this is Betty. Hi, Hi. Nicole. Hi. So where can I get you? I will have whatever she's going to have, OK? I'm going to go make a call. OK. I will have something tall and cool. You got it. There goes one right now. <laughs> then I guess I'll have a drink. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> yes. 
Yeah, yeah, I want to uh, leave a message for Joey Sands at Cab 88. It's his wife calling. Look, how many times you got to tell you she didn't see anything? It was dark outside. He is driving us around in circles, Jones. If he does that, and his brains will be on the roof. Don't even think of saying nothing, stupid. Uh, 88, Joey, where the hell are you? I've got a message from your wife. Uh, Answer it, family man. Answer it, are you in this cab gonna have a convertible top? Uh, 88, where the hell are you? Uh, Just take the message from your wife. your column it's in the eagle right oh uh, you see that nick and you said nobody reads my column no no, no. i said nobody here reads your column <laughs> maybe i should change my watering hole tommy i've got a good angle for you how about a woman detective competing in a man's world she's young single good looking well does she know anything about a reluctant witness to a murder No comment, Tom. Listen, we ain't gonna say anything to anybody, I swear. Yeah. Well, let's go find your old lady and make sure you don't know. How we gonna know which one she is? That's what we got him for. Remember, I got a bull lined up on your brain. <laughs> Jack me up, all right? She's not here. Maybe she left or something. Oh, yeah? Betty! What's wrong? Stay cool, Tom. All right, let's go get her. Hold it. There's Joey's cab. What's he doing here? You even try something, you're both down, you understand? All right. Be cool. All right. Hey, Joey, you got time for a drink? Sorry, man, I can't, I can't. Right, right, you're driving. He's probably looking for his wife, right? Yeah, if he's looking for his wife, who's that sitting in the cab? Hand me the glasses. It's a little. Damn, they must have got to Joey. Dispatch. This is Unit 1209. We got a possible hostage situation. Listen, I'm sorry I'm late. Um, my buddy here, uh, his, his cab broke down, so I had to help him out. It's okay, honey. It's better than not showing up at all, right? I'm going in. You just call for backup. We haven't got time. You guys take the one on the cab. I'll follow you. Up front. I just gotta pay for these drinks. Hey, let me get the hat. Can I have the taken, man? Oh, 
Come on, man. Give me a break. I'm going uptown. Let me see what the meter was. Listen, I'm not going uptown, man. Put your hands on the dash. I'm not you, man. Come on, man. Come on. Hey, no. uh, did I say man. uptown? I meant downtown. Come on, babe. Joey, I'm coming. I'm coming. I mean, where's the fire? Oh, bless me, man. Everybody up against the wall. Now, get out! Go! Let's get easy. Don't panic. We don't want to get innocent people involved, now do we? Put your gun on the bar. Come on, I said, put your gun on the bar. That's it. Well, where's my partner, huh? You're all alone. He gave himself up outside. All right, you. You! Come here! The old man gets it right now. Come here! Please don't shoot him! You got friends outside, huh? Lots of them. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you just back up nice and slow, huh? Turn around! Hands behind your head. That's it. Come on. We're gonna see what your friends are really like. You all sit tight now, you hear? Now move. Come on, move real slow. All right, this is how it's gonna work now, cop. You're gonna go outside, you're gonna tell your shields to let my boy go, you understand? Wait a minute, wait a minute. We gotta talk about this first. Look, I'm through talking with you, man. You want a deal, you gotta let all these people go. Look, I ain't doing nothing until I see my partner in that cab with the motor running. All right, give me five minutes. No, 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 no. I'm giving you one minute, man. You, you keep counting 60 seconds right now. And cop, just so you know, I ain't joking around, man. One false move I don't understand, and your cabbie gets it fast. No! Stop it! Stop it! It's over. Don't make me shoot you. Wars have been fought over pieces of turf as large as continents and as small as city blocks. Over something as mundane as a load of tea, or as insidious as cocaine. The front on this war grows closer, avenues of escape grow smaller. Just look out your window. What we do about what we see there is up to us. We all have the right to remain silent. But can we? So there you go, Kirkwood, view from the trenches. How you like it? I don't. But I sure am glad you guys are in the front line. Here, <laughs> coffee. Oh, you want to sit down? Yeah, with mine. Maybe if I'd listened to you guys, um, I would have caused you a little less grief. Joey, you did what you had to do. Don't be sorry about that. Leave the rewrites to Tom. Yeah, at least we all came out of it in one piece. Thanks. No, thank you. If more people had your kind of guts, it'd make our job a lot easier. Come on. Great job in there, Chris. Thanks. Can I buy you a drink? Oh, Frank, I'd love to, but Tommy's got first dibs. He wants to do an interview. Yeah, I thought it would be a great idea for the column. Uh, profile of a woman in a man's world. Whose world? My world. <laughs> hey, Tommy, check out my profile. <laughs> hey, you got a way with words, Jambo. <laughs> you never buy me a drink, dinner, movie. How about breakfast? 